I'm Elisha Light Angel, a licensed massage therapist, and I love to bring you videos about massage, wellness, spirituality, and other things that are going to pop into my head and future me wants to talk about. So if you like that, subscribe. And um, for today, I'm going to talk about my own personal self care and how that's kind of developed uh, with me being a massage therapist. So when I first got into this 13 years ago, I considered smoking weed to be my way of dealing with life, maybe drinking some wine, um, an occasional bath, and that might be about the extent that I had of my self-care. And working as a massage therapist has like hounded into me the importance of self-care and it's only been through this journey that I have developed several different acts of self-care, several things that I do for myself so that I can continue going and being of a service to my clients and being a good friend, being good to other people in my relationships, and ultimately being good to myself because it's all about feeling good inside of my body. So one thing that I noticed earlier on in not taking care of myself was my body would start hurting. I was getting tired. I was getting burnt out. I would be working on people and jealous of the fact that they were getting a massage and my body hurt. I wanted a massage. So then I start resenting my clients, even though I really enjoyed giving them massages. And it all stemmed back to me not taking care of myself. So how have I developed my self-care over the years? Um, it's been a slow progression because I think we tend to do actions that serve us better after having several actions in which we suffer the consequences. And I have suffered lots of consequences because I wanted to go party with friends. Um, it was more important for me to socialize. I'm an extrovert. I love people. I love being out in a crowd. Um, still do to this day. It's a lot of fun for me. It is part of my self-care, but it's something that I schedule in instead of just every single day trying to go out. Um, so my life is definitely shifted over the years and um, taking my career even more seriously than I did when I first started. So um, one thing that I want to do is make sure that my body is physically capable of going into work and expending the amount of energy that massage requires. And if you are not a therapist or you're a new therapist that's starting out, it is hard on your body. I thought they were lying to me. I waited tables when I first went into massage school and I thought that was hard on my body. I mean, you're on your feet all day, you're walking around, probably walk like at least five miles a shift and my legs hurt all the time. So I just thought that that was worse and that when I was doing massage, it was a little bit easier. It wasn't until I practiced massage for several years that I really understood how much um, shoulders, hands, arms, then it like leaks back to your back, to your hips, and you're still on your feet all day. So I might not have been walking five miles, but I was definitely and am still on my feet all day long. So um, aches and pains shift throughout my body pretty frequently and I address whatever is needed to be addressed at whatever times I'm feeling something happen. The way that I have counterbalanced that is I make it my self-care a priority. There are certain non-negotiables in my life that I put into my planner and I don't let anything else thwart it. I plan around it. So one is I get a massage and I trade with somebody. Um, I believe in trades and I believe if you're a therapist, you should be able to trade another therapist or even a few different ones that you rotate between um, instead of having to go pay. But it's my personal philosophy. It's how, I, it's how I roll. So I have somebody that I trade with every two weeks, like clockwork. And since I have started that, which has been uh, maybe only a year and a half or so that I've been keeping to this schedule, I've noticed a huge difference in my physical ability to keep going 
And even my mental health has really gained from that because I think our mental health suffers when our body is hurting. It's just how it is. And um, if I start hurting, I know that I have a massage coming in a few days. The other thing that I get every two weeks is chiropractic care, which you may or may not need. I personally, my bones flip out of alignment, my hips start hurting, my neck starts hurting, my back starts hurting, everything hurts. And um, so when I go into the chiropractor, it's like waltzing in there, feeling in pain, and then when I get off the table, I have to rebalance my equilibrium because I was so off. And that's how I know it's a really good chiropractic adjustment. It's really good when my hips pop because they don't always pop because they're pretty tight. But that's my how my body presents issues. And beyond that, I have a bunch of gadgets. I love gadgets. I even want more gadgets. Um, but I utilize these gadgets for intermittent body care and making sure that my muscles aren't so tired that I can't work. So the first one, I think any massage therapist, and even if you're not, if you're somebody that works on a computer or um, your shoulders get really tight, this gadget right here looks like a hook with all these little knobs. And each one of these knobs can kind of work into a muscle, but it's really good for getting back into the shoulder blade area, um, kind of just letting it sit where there's tension, where it's hurting, and releasing some of the muscles. Um, this one's really good if you wanna get into your neck. Back there, you can go either side of the spine on your neck. Um, you can work some of these knobs into different areas. Um, even, you know, if you have a spot on your arm, you can push into that. So it kind of acts as a thumb uh, if you were on the body. So that's one thing that I like to utilize uh, when I need it. Another one, and I love this little guy. There's much larger versions. Um, this is my favorite. This one is a tiny Bob and Brad. Uh, it's similar to a Theragun, but it fits, as you can see, right in my hand. Theraguns are quite larger. They're heavier, so they're easier to use on other people than they are to utilize on yourself, in my opinion. Um, it's pretty easy to use. It's got five settings. It has five different attachments. And so if I'm hurting, you know, I can it, turn it on. It makes your voice shake when you're speaking. Ah! Anyway like a child. I can work that into sore areas. Sometimes I'll do that up and down my arms because as a therapist, you, we are utilizing our hands and our arms a lot. So similar to doing computer work, um, typing a lot, utilizing a mouse, the muscles in the forearm around the elbow attachment, the wrists, hands get really tight and really sore. And being able to have the ability to work them out on a fairly regular basis is phenomenal. Also, for the arms, I have this gadget. So this um, comes out. There's three other attachments. This is the one I like using the most. It's meant for this area to sit on your thigh. And then, if you can see this, you roll your arm through it. And you can roll over your elbow all the way down to the hand. So I do this not every day after a shift, but when I'm off of work from a long massage therapy shift, I use that and roll my arms, even if they're not super hurting, because I found that that keeps them feeling a little bit more loose, a little more agile, and I'm able to do better work when my arms aren't hurting. Imagine that. Last but not least, okay, this, these ones are crazy. I keep them in the box they came in because uh, I don't have another storage. But they're these contraptions that fit on your leg. It's crazy. Like, it's a boot, basically. There's Velcro here in the front. And these will um, squeeze the legs. And these go all the way up to the thighs and help to circulate the blood. And so I'll sit after a long shift where I've been on my feet all day, strap these on, watch some YouTube, watch some Netflix, whatever I'm feeling that day. And 
let it kind of just it it does a nice squeeze so I really love when my feet are hurting and it squeezes my foot and then it goes up my calves works its way up my thighs comes back down uh, really really nice sensation if you have circulation problems even I highly recommend this um, this was a post 40 gadget there was nothing in me that needed it before I got into my 40s and that's another note um, I started in my 20s as a massage therapist and now I'm in my 40s and I didn't need as much of the body care when I was younger but it's been my observation both in my body and working on other people's bodies that the older we get the more our bodies have aches and pains like it's literally just part of life even if you are a workout guru I understand that all people who are post 50 I'm not there yet um, tell me that their body just doesn't work the way it used to they might have to slow down on their workouts or figure out different ways to do some similar things because the body is just not moving the same but it still moves and movement is key so other things that I do that aren't this, I take supplements on the daily. Um, I don't eat everything that I need for my body to receive all the nutritional value. And so I supplement. Um, I think that's a personal choice for anybody, but I feel that it has helped my immune system and helped me to stay healthier and I don't like being sick. Therefore, if I can keep my body healthy and I can keep myself feeling good, then I get to go out and do fun things in life and I get to have a really awesome career and help other people in their bodies. I drink crap tons of water. I try to drink about three liters of water per day and really stay hydrated. It is a super huge key in so many aspects of life and keeping our health good and keeping a nice it's kind of like having a river flowing through your body so it helps to get toxins out it helps to keep you lubricated it keeps your skin from getting dry it helps your body do all of the different processes that it needs to do and it keeps you from getting headaches it keeps you um, feeling more alert and awake because your body's getting what it needs water is so important I love water um, I'll do a whole other video about water and even the different types of water and um, how they affect the body but that is part of my self-care and then um, I'm working on being more physically active this is still a goal-setting thing I have not been a workout fanatic at any point in my life I've had on and off times where I have worked out, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to lie to you and tell you it's my favorite because it's not. Um, but I understand the importance of it. So this year, part of my goals is to become more active on a regular basis so that I'm just keeping my body moving because I have goals to become old and agile as opposed to old and decrepit or in a wheelchair or having somebody else take care of me. I would really rather keep being this guy up so I can keep doing stuff in life until the day I die. I don't want to have to rely on other people because that's not the kind of life that I want to live. Um, so currently those are some acts of self-care that I do for my physical being to keep myself um, going and thriving as a massage therapist. I also do meditation on a pretty regular basis and I think that having a good practice helps to calm the mind down. So those are just a few things that I do in my life and that if you want you're welcome to adopt them or you can even send me a message and we can chat about what you can do in your life to better enhance it with some self-care for you and meeting the goals that you have and the needs that you have so you continually feel better in your body in your mind and then you be, you just overall have a better life a better quality of life and you get to do fun things that you want to do instead of being homesick all the time or in pain and not being able to go anywhere makes sense to me so self-care is key and this is mine so I hope you enjoyed learning about that and if you are a massage therapist 
and you're new, I highly, highly recommend finding some routines and things that work for you so that you can have a long-term career and not have a short-term career because you got injured too early, too soon. Thank you so much. I appreciate you watching. And if you want to hear more from me, please subscribe. Hit, hit that little bing bell if you want to be notified every time I post a video. I'm going to try to post two a month this year. This is my goals. And um, from there, we'll see how it goes. I love you. Thank you for watching. Have a fantastic and wonderful day. When you close your eyes, take a look inside, come to realize we are all connected.